So, see, after seeing the formula for the shear strength of the material or shear force of the material, now we can able to find out the work done. Okay, so work done in the metal cutting operation or rather we can say the cutting power in the machining or metal cutting operation. How to give it the work done or power? The work done or the power P is equal to what? This cutting force into cutting velocity plus feed force into feed velocity okay so this is actually the formula for work done or power into the metal cutting so if we talk about this feed force into feed velocity so this product is going to be very very less as we know the feed force uh, feed velocity is given as f3 we will come to this afterwards but at this point please remember f3 is the table speed or longitudinal feed or axial feed or feed velocity many names for this it is equal to feed in mm per revolution into the rpm okay so it is in millimeter per revolution into this n is what revolution per minute so it becomes the velocity feed velocity in millimeter per minute and to get the work done or power we should have the velocity in meter per second so into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 60 you will get in meter per second so whatever the feed force see uh, of course this feed is very very less from 0.1 to 0.2 mm per revolution so you can see how much it is less so if i take say for example feed is 0.1 into say spindle is moving with the rpm say uh, 500 rpm so this is 500 rpm so into 10 to the power minus 3 and divided by 60 okay so this value will be very very less so what we are going to neglect this term and hence further we are saying that only the power in the machining operation or work done in the machining is given as the product of the cutting force into cutting speed in Newton meter per second. Newton meter per second, which is Newton meter is what? This is the energy per unit time is nothing but the power in watt. Okay, so very simple. This is the work done. And if you talk about the total energy in the machining or total uh, work done, is this total work done is nothing but the summation of whatever the energy lost in the friction and whatever the energy lost in the shearing addition of these two is actually this total work done so actually energy total energy if i write total energy or total work done in the metal cutting operation is equal to the energy which is lost in friction plus energy which is lost in shear and you know that what is total energy nothing but this fc into vc is equal to energy lost in the friction that is say friction force into chief velocity vf plus energy lost in shear shear force into shear velocity vs please remember this okay so this is the actually total work done is nothing but this summation of the loss of energy due to friction plus loss of energy due to uh, shearing action okay so now we will, definitely we are coming to this point but first of all let us clear that the work done is nothing but fc into vc that is nothing but our power okay now there is a first solution of the Ernst and Merchant which is going to talk about this energy okay merchants Ernst and merchant Ernst and merchant theory or the first solution 
that we are going to have based on this what? The energy and this will give the relation between the shear angle phi, friction angle beta and rake angle alpha. Let us see what is this actually. So we know that see this power is going to be Fc into Vc. Okay, and we have got one very important relationship from this Martian force circle diagram that is this Fc divided by Fs is equal to cos of beta minus alpha divided by cos of phi plus beta minus alpha. Isn't it? So from this ratio what we can get we can get the value for cutting force in terms of the shear force so fc is what fs into cos of beta minus alpha divided by cos of phi plus beta minus alpha isn't it now what is the shear force just now we seen what is the shear force so shear force is nothing but shear strength of the material into shear area bt1 cos of say beta minus alpha divided by what? The bt1 divided by sin phi into cos of phi plus beta minus alpha. This is the cutting force. Now what I want? I want the power. I want the energy. Power is equal to what? Fc into Vc. So what is the value of Fc? This is my Fc. Put here value. So directly I can write this P is equal to now Fc I have this multiplied by Vc. So I get the power. Isn't it? Now if you look at this power, what we want? The power is to be minimum. Isn't it? So power agar minimum chahiye, then what should be here? You can see the ratio. In this ratio, this power is a function of the shear angle phi. That is only you can see the phi in the denominator. Isn't it? So if this denominator is going to be maximum, this power is to be get minimum. See, the nature has a very simple law that the flow is where, where the less resistance is there in the path. This is the law of nature. So in that uh, law, I can say that, so this power is a function of the shear angle phi. Okay, so now let us if I say that this X capital X be the denominator which is equal to sine phi into cos of phi plus beta minus alpha, isn't it? And now I what, what I'm going to do, this is the denominator, so, so this should be maximum to keep this power minimum. So I will differentiate, I'm going to maximize this X with respect to phi and equate to zero, isn't it? So what is the differentiation of this x with respect to phi? So this is u and this is v, u dot v, what is u dot v? So first term into d dx of second, plus second term into d dx of first. So I will write this first term sine phi into d dx of second minus sine of phi plus beta minus alpha plus second term cos of phi plus beta minus alpha into d dx of first that is cos of phi, isn't it? So that will be cos of phi into cos of phi plus beta minus alpha minus sine phi into sine of phi plus beta minus alpha and yes it is equal to zero, isn't it? It is equal to zero, equal to zero. So what you will get? cos A cos B minus sin A sin B which is nothing but cos A plus B isn't it? So that is cos of A is what phi plus B is phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to 0. So that is cos of 2 phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to 0 that is 2 phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to cos inverse of 0 that is what 2 phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to 90 degree this is very very important so this is the Ernst and Merchant first solution this is the first solution 
क्या बोलता है फर्स्ट सॉल्यूशन इट विल गिव अस द रिलेशन बिटवीन द शियर एंगल फाइ फ्रिक्शन एंगल बीटा एंड द रेक एंगल अल्फा प्लीज रिमेंबर हियर बीटा इज इक्वल टू सी बीटा इज इक्वल टू टैन इनवर्स ऑफ द कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द चीप एंड द टूल रेक फेस tan inverse of mu because you know that tan beta is equal to mu so mu is equal to tan inverse so beta is equal to what tan inverse of this mu alpha is rake angle and 2 phi is the uh, phi is the shear angle so how can we write for this phi is equal to so i want to write this phi in terms of in terms of beta minus alpha so what is phi so phi is equal to 90 minus this beta minus alpha divided by 2 isn't it so yes beta and this alpha goes there it will be positive yes minus minus plus so phi is equal to this 90 minus beta minus alpha by 2 so if we merchant plot the graph of this phi versus beta minus alpha and got the value for say copper lead and mild steel the having the straight lines with the same slope okay so this is copper this is lead and this is ms so this is the actually what we can say trend of the merchant Uh, analysis where he got this uh, straight lines phi versus beta minus alpha with the same slope okay but the thing is that the merchant first solution or understand merchant first solution is giving the satisfactorily results with the the ferrous materials or non ferrous materials or the synthetic material only for example plastic or rubber only but see in metal cutting we are dealing with the cutting of the ferrous materials many times in the uh, shop floors in the industries isn't it so whatever the results we have obtained from the merchant first solution this is the result 2 phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to 90 degree so it is giving the much accurate result in case of the synthetic materials okay rubber or plastic only not for the ferrous materials so what is the reason behind that okay so here the in first solution ernst and merchant first solution they have considered the the shear stress on the not, on the shear plane only the shear stress on the normal shear plane they have not consider the normal stress on the shear plane understood so that that is the reason why the result was like this so definitely merchant go on improving this solution and with the help of p w bridgman p w bridgman then once again he derived the second solution and that is what we are going to see in the next video okay thank you